Hello and welcome back to the Watford Way. We've won another Premier League game. Come on, come on the boys. Um, really, really positive performance, I would say, um, against Norwich. I wouldn't say it was outstanding. There was definitely some things that we could improve on defensively um, and still in midfield. I think there's still some issues there to be solved. But look, we won the game. I went into the game, you know, saying to everybody, Norwich are so, so poor. You know, I thought our squad was significantly stronger than than theirs. Um, and I think that showed yesterday, you know, especially with our forward players, Saar, King, Dennis, you know, compare that to Josh Sargent, Timo Puki at Norwich, you know, it, it, it doesn't compare, does it? The experience we've got, the pace, the power, um, how dynamic them front three play with each other. They can interchange too. I just thought it was absolutely superb. Dennis's goal was fantastic. Great cross by Kiki Femenir. It's great to see him back in the starting 11. And it's my Lassar. You know, we all know what Saar can, we all know what Saar can do, don't we? We all know what he can offer this Watford side. I think yesterday he, he showed he is, he is our key player. He is the guy. And when he does eventually leave, which I think will be next summer, um, you know, a big offer should come in for him from the likes of Liverpool, maybe a Manchester United, City even. Um, you know, we are going to miss him a lot. And, you know, last time we were in the Premier League, Saar only got five goals in the whole season. Already this season, he's got three goals. I'm only five games in. So he's already on track to, to you know, way surpass the, the previous season he had in the Premier League. Um, word on Josh King as well. I thought Josh King was really underrated yesterday. I thought we had a really, really good game. Obviously, he didn't score, but he got the assist for Saar's first goal. Some great play by him. Um, he made the run for Saar's second goal. His shot was saved, deflected to Saar. Saar puts it in the empty net. Um, was offside and VAR ruled it on. So Josh King really did contribute yesterday. Dennis contributed. I thought Suzoko played well. Um, cleverly as well. Kuka, um, or Kuchka, however you pronounce it. Um, he still looks a little bit off the pace for me. I'm not quite sure about him at the moment. Um, he obviously had that great game against Aston Villa um, you know, at the very start of the season. But since then, have I been impressed by him? Not really. So he, he's, you know, for me, he, it's up for debate whether he does start the the next Premier League game against Newcastle. Maybe bring in a loser or an, or a, you know, even a Peter Otado in there to replace him. Um, and the back four, uh, we started with Kiko Femenir, Craig Cathcart, Chus to come, Danny Rose. Um, overall, they played well. Uh, Cathcart probably the worst of the bunch if we if we're being honest. I don't think Cathcart's really cut out for Premier League level anymore. Good good backup backup option to have, but he shouldn't really be starting games for Watford unless we have a massive injury crisis at the back. Um, so yeah, I'd like to see Serial to come straight back in for Cathcart if possible. And Ben Foster started in goal as well. Daniel Batman, uh, it's reported before the game he had a knee injury. Apparently that's now not the case and it was a tactical decision by Zisco to play Foster. And you know, you could argue it's Foster's mistake for the first goal. We kind of got a little bit caught in in no man's land, he didn't know whether to stay or, or, or close Pookie down. He kind of got stuck in the middle. Um, but look, apart from that, a couple of decent saves in the game. Um, and he's just an experienced head, isn't he? He's like, what, 11, 12 years older than, than Daniel Backman. Um, so, yeah, you know, I, I'm happy whether Foster or Backman starts. I know there's a lot of supporters um, where that's up for debate. Some supporters prefer Batman, some prefer Foster. Um, I'm probably leaning towards um, Foster a bit more. But what I would say is... Foster's not the long-term long future of Watford. Daniel Batman is. So, you know, once Foster's gone after this year, Daniel Batman will be our number one keeper unless we bring someone else in. So, you know, we've known how Foster for so long. So let's enjoy him while we got him. Um, and apart from that, I'm just very, very happy. Um, on to Stoke on Tuesday in the Cup. Should be, We should win that. You know, Stoke are a mid-table championship squad. We're a Premier League squad with Premier League players. I'd like to see Cucho get a start. Ashley Fletcher get a start, potentially Dan Gosling, players like that. Um, you know, Cabasele, give, give them a run out too. So Jeremy Ngakia as well, actually. I want to see him get another start. So there's a few players who can give a run out against Stoke. And then on to the big game against Newcastle. And if we win them two, three games, one in a row, suddenly people doubting Zisco, we're back to loads and loads of positivity, which is exactly what I want to see. So there you go. That's my match review for Norwich City versus Watford. A 3-1 win away for Watford in the end. Thank you very much for watching and we'll catch you for our Stoke City match preview tomorrow evening. Bye-bye.